Well, I'm just walking down a empty corridor, middle of the night, at a private chemotherapy suite in Manchester. And I'm going to ask Robert why we're doing electrical safety tests on these chairs and not just a standard pat test. Robert, take it away. So a pat test will give you a straight pass or fail. It'll only do earth bond, it'll do um, insulation test. What an electrical safety tester specifically for medical equipment will do is instead of giving you a pass or fail, you'll get an actual reading. Now the parameters for a pass and a fail for equip medical equipment is different to a normal appliance like a kettle. Secondly, we'll do equipment leakage. You can't do that on a pat test. It's a requirement for medical equipment. We'll also do introduce single fault conditions, which you can't do on a pat test. We'll do point to, you can do point to point testing on a medical device tester. And you can also select which standards you can apply. Six, the two standards we're interested in are 61010 and 62353. But obviously at the moment we're doing test to 62353, which is the in-service electrical safety test.